Hello and welcome everyone and today we are going to do my first tech unboxing on this channel. Usually I do seed unboxing videos so this is kind of a new one for us but I am super excited for this one. The specs on this computer are this is a 13 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 chip for the 2020 model because I wanted to have that expanded memory as I won't be able to add in the memory afterwards if I feel like it so I just upgraded it to 16 GB. I also upgraded the storage to 512 gigabyte of SSD storage. I didn't get any pre-installed software like the Final Cut Pro or the Logic Pro because I use Adobe Premiere Pro and I don't need Logic Pro either. My current MacBook Pro is from late 2013 model, so it is old <laughs> and I've had it for a really long time. And that's how I usually buy tech. I will wait for the product that I want and I will save up for it. And then once I buy it, I'll just use it for like five, six years without worrying about uh, replacing it. But when the M1 chip came out on the new MacBook Pro, that made me super excited about the computer. The current computer that I use is my iMac for my workflow and it's in my studio. But if I want to work in my living room someday, I would take my MacBook Pro. But ever since I started working with 4K files, because it was a an older computer it was quite slow and it wasn't working that fast and I only started working on my iMac with the M1 chip I'm kind of excited about it I will be very honest I'm kind of dreading it too because I use Adobe Premiere Pro as my editing software and not Final Cut Pro and I've heard kind of mixed reviews about people using Premiere Pro on the new MacBook Pro that it has not been as smooth and fast so I'll see, I'll test it out and let you know what I feel. Also, if you're looking for a more in-depth review for a MacBook Pro for creatives, especially photographers and filmmakers, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be making more videos on this MacBook as I test it out. Although today is just an unboxing and let's get started with it. Right, let's open it. Look at that. The reason why everybody is talking about these Macs is because Apple designed its own chip. And where the older Macs, like my old 2013 used to use an Intel chip, this now is going to be an Apple chip, uh, which they call the M1 chip. And that's what makes it special. Because every time Apple uses their own chips to make devices, they make them a lot faster. So that's why people have been talking a lot about this one. Ooh, very nice. Okay, let's put this aside for a little bit to see what's in the rest of the box. I have the wire with USB-C on both sides. This has USB-C on both ends. And I feel like, yeah, this is a lot smaller than my 2013 one too. I'll show you for a comparison how my 2013 charger looks like. And a lot lighter too, I love that. I don't know how lighter the 2019 one was, but this one definitely is very light. I love this because the smaller it is, the easier it is for me to travel with it and I can put it in my purse, put it in my backpack and it doesn't become super heavy. My old charger from 2013 was small, but this is smaller than that. So that's it. That's about all that they have in the box. This is new. This 
is my old one and this is the new one. And the size too, you can see there's a size. And I feel like it's thinner. Look at that. A lot thinner on the side. I just want to show that this is the old charger and this is the new one. This is the old one and the new one. Definitely smaller, lighter too, and doesn't have all these wires hanging off, which I love. Yeah, I love that. I love that there isn't this huge wire that's hanging. I just love how compact it is. Very, very nice. Good job, Apple. In terms of ports, yep, there are only two ports here and on the other side now, we only have the headphone jack. So I like the fact that it is USB-C, but just having two, I don't know. I'll let you know how much I miss the rest of them. So now to open it up. Okay, let's open it together. while to open up okay so now we are going to go with English United States continue accessibility hmm you can turn them on now to help you finish setting up for and further customize them and later in system preferences. See what's available in the category. Interesting. Okay, not now. Continue. Added the password. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, continue. So, I want to say that I have actually never used Big Sur because my iMac I just <laughs> just upgraded to oh is that Catalina? Yeah, I think Catalina. I just upgraded to that because I don't like to have a lot of bugs whenever I use the programs. And ever since I upgraded to it, um, it's been crashing too. So I'm not a huge fan. And I heard Big Sur was doing the same to a lot of the Adobe applications, so I didn't want to upgrade immediately. Okay, what is this? If you have Da, da, da. No, I actually don't. Not now. All right, let's put in my Apple ID. Mm. And create a computer account. Oh, also, I'm new to the touch bar. That's completely new to me, so. That's going to take some getting used to. I know you can set up the function keys just as they were on the touch bar, but I'm actually curious to see how I can adapt it to um, different applications or if it doesn't even work out that way. I don't know. I will have to use it and let you know, but I'm actually excited to try it out. I've heard really mixed things about the touch bar. Some people love it. Some people absolutely hate it and want it to go away. I have never used it, so this is going to be a new experience for me. It's gonna be a learning curve, and I'll let you know what I think. Now it's creating the computer account, and iCloud is setting up the account. Yay! This takes a little while, but I think um, it takes time regardless. Even for the older computers, I think it took this long. I am so excited about this. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. 
Siri didn't quite get that. Try again. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Siri! Okay, I am, I'm not gonna try it again. I'm gonna do set it up later. Okay, one last thing. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Okay, cannot get that. Note to you, that takes time to set up. <laughs> Not now. Continue, I'm gonna do it later. File Vault secures your data by encrypting the contents of your disk by lock and locking your screen with the password. I'm gonna actually set this up later. I don't know, I need to read up on it. I have never done the File Vault. Touch ID, all right. Use your fingerprint to unlock your Mac. So it's up here in this, ooh, this is nice. I don't know if you all can see this. Hopefully you can. It says lift and rest your finger on touch ID repeatedly. And it's actually coming up on the touch bar. That is cool, I like that. So it's this upper right corner, this square, that's the touch ID. So. Gonna set it up. Ready? Continue. It's saying Apple Pay. Set, set it up with the Touch ID. I'm okay with that. Back. I don't want to do it right now. What kind of look do you want? Light or dark? Select an appearance and see how the dock menus, buttons and windows adjust depending on which one you choose. You can change this in, later in the system preferences. Mm, what do I feel like today? Light. I'm just gonna go with light. I don't want auto. I wanna pick it. True tone display. See, without true tone display. Ooh. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Continue. I like to keep it sometimes with true tone display, although not when I'm editing colors. So I think this is a good thing to note for all the photographers and filmmakers. If you are color grading, you should turn off the true tone display because that is going to affect how you grade colors. So something to keep in mind, but I've kept it on for now. I'm, I will turn it off if I'm using this heavily for color editing for my photos and videos. If you don't edit photos or videos, you're good to go. All right, that's it. And that's how it looks like. I love the background for Big Sur, it looks nice. I will do a more in-depth review of this computer, especially for people who are creatives and are using this to edit your photographs and videos. I still need to look at Big Sur and see what they've changed with the upgrade, so I'll need to do my own research, but just wanted to bring you all along as I unbox this and wanted to show you how it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. A review is coming up soon, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified for all of my future videos. Thank you so much everyone for joining me today and have an amazing, amazing day. Bye-bye.